Hey guys, this is Elaine and in this video I'm going to talk about photoelectric effect. Before I move any further, uh, there is a video that comes before this one which is called Interactions of Photons with Matter. It's an introduction about the subject. In this video, I compare the energy dependence of the three most common uh, photon interactions with matter. Uh, if you have not watched this video, the link will be in the video description. Uh, photo, photoelectric effect. What we, is going to happen is we will have an incident photon that interacts with an orbital electron. Orbital electron can be from K, L, M or N shell. Uh, photon energy has to be greater than the binding energy of that electron. The orbital electron is ejected in the process and the photon is completely absorbed by the atom. So let's go step by step here. We have an incident photon coming, interacting with this uh, orbital electron. The incident photon is completely absorbed in the process and the electron is ejected. When this, so we are going to have this space here now and this situation is unstable for the, that atom. When that happens, uh, electron from our outer shell will move to fill that gap. Since we know the energies here, the binding energies of the electrons, uh, we know there is a difference in energy, which will be emitted when that, when that electron moves to fill this gap, the difference of energies will be emitted in terms of uh, characteristic radiation or characteristic X-ray. Why characteristic? Because like I said, we know the values of the binding energies of the electrons for each element. Uh, the, the characteristic X-ray is a discrete value, is one, uh, or one example of the secondary emissions of photoelectric effect. Uh, so photon is completely absorbed by the atom. Ejected electron has energy, which will be the incident photon energy minus the electron binding energy. One example of uh, secondary emissions is the characteristic X-ray. Photoelectric effect depends on the atomic number of that medium. The relationship will be atomic number to the third power and the incident photon energy will be 1 over e to the third power. So as z increases according to this relationship we see here, as z increases, the probability of photoelectric effect increases. As energy increases, if we look to this relationship here, as e increases, the energy increases, the probability of photoelectric effect decreases. The probability of photoelectric effect to occur in water is for energies lower than 100 kiloelectrovolts. And why water? Why we want to know the probability in water? It's because water uh, represents a low atomic number material, similar to body tissue. So here uh, we have this uh, table here from Khan. Uh, first column is the material. And the third one is the atomic number. We can see some uh, body tissues down here. We have water, we have air, we have bone. Uh, we can see that the effective atomic number for most of them, the majority of them is similar to water. Uh, this is the water uh, effective atomic number. We can see how close they are here, except for bone. So uh, why water? Because water has a similar effective atomic number to most of the body tissues. In the energy range, we work in diagnostic radiation, photoelectric effect is, is predominant. Since the photoelectric effect depends on the atomic number and our body tissues have different effective atomic numbers, the probability of the photoelectric effect occurring in one type of body tissue or another will be different. 
That means the probability of photon absorption is different for each tissue. It is the photoelectric effect that makes possible for us to differentiate human tissues in diagnostic images. Example, uh, if we have an incident photon, an X-ray beam, uh, for example, of 80 kVp. Uh, we know that in this energy range, there is a high chance of photoelectric effect to occur. Let's compare bone versus muscle. Since bone has a higher effective uh, atomic number and uh, the photoelectric effect increases as the atomic number increases, the photon attenuation absorption will be higher in bone. So because bone has a higher effective uh, atomic number. So this is it guys, uh, there is a uh, Three additional uh, videos, one, uh, one of them which I talked in the beginning is the uh, interactions of photons with matter. It's a video that I suggested uh, if you have guys have time to watch, it's very interesting and it shows the, compares, the energy comparison uh, for the three most common interactions. Uh, so this is it, thanks for watching.